Everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're doing a Q&A that you guys requested. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I just read the first question and I'm already nervous about the rest. All right, and so y'all, you guys, I told y'all, y'all don't have to leave nothing out, so. There's no way we're doing all 51. Let's go ahead and get right into it because you guys have a lot of questions about the same thing. Right here, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna ask. Can I ask? Can yeah, I? Go ahead, go ahead, I'll be the ones. I'll just pick the ones that we you know, we need to just like address, right? The first one's funny. Okay, so this question is from Baby J, and it is when, where, and how did y'all meet? Details. I'm gonna talk about the first time we met. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. So, go ahead, you can start. So I first met him uh, my freshman year. I was working in the bookstore, doing my job, and he approached me, and I was like, can I have your number? Stop saying that, I just asked you, that, can I have your number? That's not what happened. I definitely tried to talk to her, and she was trying to dub me a little bit, but I was like, so I'm gonna just try to get her number to see if I can hit her up later, she gonna still have that same energy. But, yeah. He probably was like, hey, I'm so-and-so, ask me for my number. And I was like, no, I can't give it to you, I got a boyfriend. And he probably, probably was like, can we, we can't be friends with him. And I was like, no, we kept going. But like, in my mind, I was like, he's so fucking cute. But I just couldn't do it because I'm like a faithful person. So it's just like, nah, I just walked away from it. Um, and I was like, my first time like ever meeting him or us, I guess. Having our, that was our very first interaction. Interaction, ever. definitely. And then definitely. when I started. It's something about her eyes, though, I tell y'all that. Like, I remember, like, the way she just look at you, it's like, it's something about it. And, and I don't know if y'all can see it through the camera, but if you ever meet her in person, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, I promise. Go ahead, but you can continue. I don't know. So, and then when I started back doing, back filming by myself when I got newly single or whatever, um, I used to do those little Q&A, not Q&As, but those panels with the guys. And one of my friends, Q, was like, um, he was gonna do it. And I told him I need some new faces. And he was like, he brought his name up. And I'm like, like a light bulb went off in my head. I was like, yeah, I remember him. Cause I remember how fine he was. And I was like, yeah, bring him. And so. And so they brought him and we did the video and after that I was like, yeah, you have anything to say? <laughs> uh, let's see, mm. after the video, if y'all go back and watch the video, y'all let's see when I asked if she was single. Okay, so I'm single. Yeah. All right, so what is a reasonable single? So I was like, y'all might pursue her, but at the same time, I was living a whole different lifestyle. And it was like, I just looked at Nia on some grown one, like on a grown woman level the entire time. Like Nia always been bossed up. So she like above all the other women, like my peers. Cause we're about to be 23 on the 5th of April. Remember that? And I don't know, just something about her. Like I'm not ready to settle down, so I'm not about to mess with her, but. Yeah. So when we did that video, that's when we kind of like got cool, I guess you can say. We didn't really talk like that. We got cool and then. And then uh, I got I got drunk at a party. He was at the party, and I was like flirting real hard with him. And then after that was when we began. What happened? Cause I didn't do what I wouldn't do. It. You were drunk. No, I'm saying we didn't do anything that night. I was just I was just flirting with him that night, like flirting with him hard at the party. Make sure y'all know I don't take advantage of drunk girls. I'm not with that. Yeah, I was just flirting with him hard at the party, and um. Like after that, I guess like a week or so later was when we like had our first like, all right, you come over, chill, hang out. Yeah. This was this was back in May. Mm -hmm. the party was in April, but then in May was when we actually had our first like, you know, you come over, chill, kick it. And then after that it was when we, I'm just gonna say it. After that is when we just started messing around. 
the thing about that situation was like back then he had always made it known to everybody like he enjoys being single he's not ready for commitment so me when i first got around him i was like the way my this is the way my mind went i was like, i'm very attracted to him i remembered him you know what i'm saying from freshman year or whatever whatever and i was like i'm freshly out of a relationship so i don't need a relationship so when he came and gave me his whole like perspective on dating and stuff i was like okay maybe i should have an open mind and just try to date without strings attached and didn't go so strings got attached it didn't go so well kind of but um i was trying to try a new thing by just dating and not like having to be settled down so next question yeah okay Hmm. What year did y'all? Oh, that Christian. What year did did y'all first? You got reading no good questions. Me. That's twenty fifteen when we first met. Okay. You can't just dive into the like. The juicy ones. You gotta wait. Yeah. Mhm. What do y'all have in common? What do we have in common? First, what's your favorite color? Orange. Exactly. What's my favorite color? Orange. Exactly. First, now the flag. My favorite color, well, I have a lot of favorite colors. I kind of, I was like green. green really I was saying color, green in my head, like, but you was forcing me to say orange. I wasn't forcing you to say orange. Green is my favorite color, but I like wearing orange. Like, orange is my favorite color to wear. Green is my favorite color, I guess, for decorations and shit. Mm. Like, it just depends. I got different colors, like, different favorite colors for different things. So, my, my go to color is black. I feel like the thing that we most have in common is like, like, I'm not saying style as in fashion, but different things that we like, like styles like of homes, houses, like style of homes. and we kind of like the same like fashion as well, and food. like food, and it's like we like the same type of things when it comes to like lifestyle. Yeah, taste really. Like so it's it. like easy. I'm not gonna say she's bougie. Cause then that would make me seem kind of bougie, but you are bougie. Ooh, I'm, yeah. We're. I think we're both bougie. I don't even think we're that bougie. We're sitting on the floor right now. And you didn't want to sit on the floor either. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we gonna do this every time. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Either way, we're sitting on the floor right now. We can't be bougie. So. I think we have the same like type lifestyle wants, like in life and stuff. So it's like kind of it's easy. And our goals are like kind of aligned together. So it's like I mean, yeah. Like this, I like. Might as well do it together, we'll get there so much faster. Yeah. You'll see, you'll see what happens. I'm not gonna really speak on that too. Lifestyle is what we have in common. Yeah, go ahead, my bad. Mm -hmm. It says, Sydney says, did you guys have an instant connection or did the connection have to build over time? How do you feel? I feel like something has like a gravitational pull on him to me and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Right. You talking about like the triple two? No, you go ahead. You never talking about that. So like, if you know her birthday is February 22nd, so that's triple two. And prior to meeting her, I kept seeing triple two everywhere. Like, like right before we reconnected the second time, right? No, I haven't seen it before, like for the longest. Really. Yeah, I'm saying like Maybe months. Before, no, no, think about it, remember? Months before. Yeah, months before we met for the first time, though, remember? Not the first time when I came to your house and you had this tattooed on your wrist. Yeah. And I seen it and then I let my partners know. I'm like, yeah. oh, she got triple two on her wrist. They're like, what? That's crazy. You just been seeing that. All so in time. a nutshell, like for months before me, months before me and him reconnected, mm -hmm. he kept seeing the number 222, 222, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. He kept like asking people, looking it up, like, what does this mean? Da, da, da. And then the first night that he came over and we like hung out for the first time, like if you know me, I have two 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 tatted on my wrist. It's my birthday, it's my mama's birthday, it's sentimental. And I guess my like he could like see something on my wrist and he was like, What is that? And then it says two two two. And so out. it was, yeah, he kinda freaked out and it's like, What the hell? I haven't been seeing this number for the longest, like what the fuck is mm -hmm. so Yeah. 
But like I said, I wasn't ready to slow down at that time. Yeah, and that, like, that's when we just first started kicking it. So, I don't know, I just feel like, I kind of do feel like the connection was instant, but because of his lifestyle and how he enjoyed living, he like tried to fight it for a very long time. I tried to fight it, that's really what it was. I just yeah. tried fighting it, but. Till they broke you I, down. Yeah, I, I can't do it no more. It's like, okay, like, you got to grow up one day. You already graduated, what you doing? Life pass you by. You sit on the couch and life pass you. Is that commercial? Your favorite commercial? What are your favorite things about each other? Mm, my, uh, I think my favorite thing about him is he try to be like Superman when it comes to me. So I don't really have to say like a whole lot for him to do. Like. I can just wake up and be on my period. He gonna act like Superman. He gotta go to the store. He gotta get everything I need. <laughs> like, he gotta be Superman. I feel like that's attractive. Like, I don't like men that I have to ask and like, I don't really have to puppet him to do stuff. He just does it. Okay, okay. Yeah, for you, I think the thing I'm most attracted to. What is, what's the question exactly? So I feel what are you what are you most attracted to about wait no, what are your favorite things about each other? Okay, my favorite thing about you. No no, I'm getting to know you more. Or no no, no you I guess my favorite thing about you would be it's kinda of like the same thing how you do things but I don't ask. Like we just wake up in the morning, she can cook breakfast, she can clean, wash the dishes, all that. Like typically she cooks and then I wash the dishes. Then sometimes she goes out of her way and then she'll just leave, go to the grocery store. And then we, I think we're going out to eat that night, but then she just cooks like randomly, like spontaneously. And she cooks amazing. So I get, I handle, uh, I handle stuff. Oh, I got, yeah, you do handle stuff like that. Like I, that. Hand, I handle stuff. You think you handle everything, but you want to be, a, you want to be superwoman, like. Okay, and you want to be superman, so. No, 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 no. Sometimes you got to let me do stuff. Like you just want to do everything on your own. She wanted the women that are like, try to grab all the groceries, pick all the bags and I'm like, bro. What are you doing? I'm right here. Crazy. Okay, so I think I need to go to the most prevalent question. So, which one? The first one. Uh, okay, so it says, Cece says, is this the same guy that didn't want to be in a relationship but did relationship things with you or is that someone else? So yes, this is him. Um, my wine talks was about him. I'm pretty sure 10 times out of 10, y'all know that. Um, Y'all been here through the journey. Like we just said, he lived a whole different lifestyle. He didn't want like a relationship. He was just kind of like stuck in his ways. I've never seen those videos, by the way. So yeah, <laughs> it caused a lot of drama for us because, like I said, I feel like we had an instant connection, and the connection has always been there. But he was still fighting himself and living that lifestyle. And with that lifestyle, it comes drama between women and different things like that. So, it was hectic. Say it, please. Nothing to say? Yeah, but yeah, I'm the same dude. I'm the same dude. <laughs> He's the same dude. He just in a different. I'm a different person. Uh, like, like I said, I've grown up. So, the lifestyle is behind me. Yeah. Was he this cute when y'all first met or did he glow up over the years? I think he looked this good when I first saw him. Only thing different is now he have like a bunch of chin hair. And it's still not connecting the way I want it so I need a full But he's beard. always, I think your hair may, your hair is probably longer because you cut it. Yeah, probably so. His hair is probably longer though. Um, who is more athletic? Me. Him. Of course. That's another thing that I like about him. Like he he gets he don't really well he don't play video games, mm -hmm. and he gets up in the morning. He go outside and he gets in the yard, which he spent a lot of time out there. He always doing something, but it's attractive to see a man go out and do stuff besides laying in the bed all day and be on games and stuff. He actually be mm -hmm. outside. Maybe she be um, what's your guys' mm -hmm. love language? So we did this little test, right? Cause they're like, words, affirmation, act, 
So I feel like he's more the more of an act of service type person. Oh yeah, we did take that little test. On and phone. I'm more of a quality time and physical sex. But ours was very close. We only had one that was different, like two categories that was different, right? Yeah, something like that. I really don't know. We could do it again. But I feel like he's more of acts of service, like how he tried to be Superman and go and do this, that, and that. And I'm quality time, like I like to just. Well, you probably quality time too, because he don't like me to go home. What's the point? You gonna go home and we gonna sit on the phone? What's the purpose in doing that? I'm not trying to sit on the phone. Be here in person. What made you know that you were ready to date again, specifically him? Good question for you. Where's my hair be done? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what the universe got planned for us or why it has been like trying to just, it's like a, a damn magnet, like a slow magnet. <laughs> like it was just like, mm. yeah. but the magnet is trying to stay like where they at, but it's like mm, the universe like get y'all asses over here so we can do whatever. Yeah, pretty much. That's how I feel. So I My just. greatness is coming soon. I just let it be. Um, but not a child though. I just let it be. I just let it be. How have y'all helped each other progress spiritually? Um. Let's see. Let's talk about first the the crystals. What's the place that we went to? We went to Phoenix Dragon. Mm -hmm. We got. Well, I already had crystals. And this is my first time getting crystals. So when I went in there, they told me just to. Pick at whatever colors I felt, or whichever ones I felt like spoke to me, I guess you could yeah. say. Yeah. Uh, I can't even think of the names of them. But I just feel like we, ooh, we have, yeah. we have yeah. been slacking when it comes to that aspect, like working with our crystals daily, like mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we need to get back on that, but we are helping each other progress spiritually. You I have. No, I haven't. You haven't? I have. Just use uh, nothing but stuff. Well, I ordered I, I ordered some stuff, so. You ordered some stuff to meditate? For us to meditate on the court. I can't wait. I gotta stay in it though. Okay. I'm gonna do like three more questions and that's it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, is your boyfriend okay with you having male friends? Definitely. I don't trust none of them. I don't trust none of her male friends. I trust her. That's the only reason. If I didn't trust her, I, come on now. Other than that, though, I ain't got no problem. As long as they don't get disrespectful, we cool. What's something that the <laughs> other does? Why are you doing all that? I don't know. Yeah, I ain't. You're making sure. Crazy. What's something that the other does that annoys you? Ooh, we know you got a long laundry list. Lay it out. <laughs> Lay, lay your have, red carpet out. I don't have no long list. Mine for him would be, we are both like really feisty. He's an Aries, um, Pisces. My sign is not really feisty. My sign is more emotional. So his feistiness in my level of emotion, like a lot of times like little things to do hurts my feelings because he's so aggressive. And... What? Aggressive? You're aggressive. I'm up front. He have a little attitude, and I have a, he thinks I have a big attitude, not that he have a big attitude, so it's like two big attitudes, like. That's crazy. Okay. So crazy hearing that. I think, I think it's our time, you're the best. That's crazy. I think the thing that I don't like about, well now, yeah, I don't like that you just said that. That annoys, that, annoy, that annoys me is that right there, and I'm just like, but whenever we're having like, a real discussion, she just stop responding. Like in the middle of the conversation, if I say something she doesn't like, or I don't know, I don't even know what it is. She just stop talking. So I'm just sitting there, and it's like, uh, okay, hello. I don't know. It makes it awkward, and I don't ever really hear what she has to say about it. So then we just gotta move past it. But we're working on our communication skills. So. For sure. Remember every day that we working. We working. Put that in your mind. Bury it in your mind. 
Cause you do the same thing. You like to turn on music and shut everything out when something make you mad. Blast, turn the music up to the love volume. I don't mm -hmm. wanna hear nothing. Start hopping around like NBA young boy. Like, <laughs> that's what he do that NBA young boy shit. Like. Funny as hell. And I don't like that. See me, I'm so like emotional and I know I'm emotional. I just get up in my car and leave. Just pack and go. No, I don't know. I turn the music on after, when you do that, you get silent, and I'm like, okay, so you're not gonna talk? All right, so I'm gonna listen to music. Like, we gotta sit in silence? I don't know, we just gonna sit here and stare at each other because you don't wanna talk. And you make that known, you pick up your phone and get on Instagram. Okay, so. <laughs> you're so funny. Okay, so I hope he answers y'all question. This video is long, I can see my thing Flickering at me, it's like 20, like 20 something minutes. You gotta cut a lot of this out. I'm not cutting nothing out. You gotta cut so much of this out. You gotta think about the intro when I wasn't ready. Yeah, that's all I'm cutting out the intro. Um, This part right here. So, no. Sure. So, hope y'all enjoyed this. Hopefully, we answered y'all questions. If y'all need another QA part two, let us know. Maybe I missed something. But yes, he is the born again, um, retired. Player. Oh. Him player. Retired. Listen, listen, I'm older than none of that. Okay. I was just living my I was just having fun. I was just having, I was exactly. just having fun. That's it. I was in I was in college. That's it. Well, hope y'all enjoy. Let me know if y'all need a part two. I don't know. I think we can I think we hit everything. So okay. you know. You need like an outro and you sing a song. Now you can no, I'm gonna do no, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have no, that um I'm gonna sing the song. Bye, everybody. <laughs>